penetration, but uh, they couldn't get Hart Hartman. He gets the corner. He's out to the 40. Good straight drop. It brushed heavily and hit as he throws. Herman back makes the catch. Wins it. Touchdown. Vinsler drops back and lofts a pass over the center. Caught for a touchdown. Throws, but he's got open. Gatlin open. He nice makes catch. a great leaping grab. Hello, everybody, and welcome to high school football. As tonight, Sheboygan South hosts Green Bay Southwest in a huge playoff implication game. I'm Chris Wright. Subbing in for Mike Martin tonight will be Greg Schwartz, uh, son of the quarterback, Taylor Schwartz. Mike Martin's out at a concert someplace, so I'll be running a little bit solo, and Greg will help me up in the booth. But as far as tonight's game, it's a big, big game for Sheboygan South. They have to win two games to make it to the playoffs. Coach Pfeiffer and Coach Hine have been talking all year about making the playoff, and actually the playoffs start tonight. They lose tonight, the playoffs is over, and uh, basically their season is not what they wanted. For Green Bay Southwest, they need one game to win the, make it to the uh, playoffs, so they also have a big game is in, in store for them as well. A lot of action tonight on the field, both sides. One of the big keys, I think, tonight will be taking care of the football. Sheboygan South all year has had trouble taking care of the ball, and so they really got to take care of it. On the positive side, Sheboygan South has a 12-game home winning streak going in their regular season. Their last loss at home was Nina in a playoff game last year, but they have run off 13 out of the 14. They haven't lost here in a regular season game since 2003, so I think that's a big, huge advantage for Sheboygan South and should give them a lot of confidence. In a couple minutes, I'll be back with the starting lineups and enjoy tonight's game. we got a great night for football. On the football field, you've got to stay focused and not get distracted. The same is true on the road. So before your wireless phone becomes a distraction, take a time out for safety. In bad weather or traffic, call later, dial sensibly, and use a hands-free device. You know, your wireless phone can be your best safety tool. To call for help, stop a crime, however you use it, remember, with wireless, safety is your call. It starts in your own neighborhood. When you care enough to give your time, to help someone still learning the way and getting involved in the needs of your community. Once you've helped bring a smile to someone's face and help brighten their day, you'll be hooked for life. The Major League Baseball Players Trust and Volunteers of America are teaming up to make a real difference in the lives of the people in our communities. Join a winning team. See what you can do to help. Welcome back to South High for the 41st game between Southwest and Sheboygan South, dating back to 1964. There you see Mike Rank. Looks to me like Sheboygan South will be receiving the kickoff, or excuse me, will be kicking off to Southwest. Southwest will have the first opportunity with the football. As I said before, uh, because Mike Martin is not here, I'm Chris Wright, and join me tonight uh, is the uh, Greg Schwartz. Greg's done some uh, baseball and football game. Thanks for joining us, Greg. Chris, I'm, I'm, it's my pleasure. I'm looking forward to this, both as a fan and as an announcer. It's fun to be up here, get a good view, first of all. <laughs> yeah. I hope I can offer some insight. I, maybe some of you know my son is the quarterback for South, so I don't want to be too biased or anything. Actually, I'll probably be the reverse. I'll be on it <laughs> more than I should be. <laughs> well, kicking off for uh, Sheboygan South would be Anthony Hoytink. Anthony's a junior. Good foot, plays a little baseball as well. Ben Folker, number 34, is one of the guys back, and they're not gonna kick it to him. Southwest jumps on the ball at the 32, and they'll have the first chance with the football tonight to start the game. I didn't get a chance to see any of your pregame, but uh, Southwest is ranked fourth in the conference in offense, and we're third, and they're third in the conference in defense, and we're fourth, or vice versa. And in other words, I hope the home field is the deciding advantage. Ben Fulker's their big back, number 34. Their quarterback is number four, Ben Chester. I know he plays a little baseball as well. He's got a nice little arm. And there's Fulker right off the get-go, basically getting stopped by a hoist of uh, Red Wings there. Especially big number 34, Ben Hendricks, the linebacker. He's really come up big the last three or four weeks. I think he made uh, in double figures and tackles the last three games. I know it's both Folker and Chester are both juniors, so they'll be back. Call that a no-gainer, uh, Greg, so we're going to 
Go here, uh, second down and 10. There's Folker again trying to break it outside. And again, Sheboygan South there for that uh, attempt. That time, number 22, John Valdez. Great defensive end for South the last two years on the stop. John was all conference last year, and they'd be wise not to run towards his end. There's a big play. Let's hold him. Let's stop him here. Well, that's going to set up third down, and we'll call it 11. See if Chester puts it up a little bit here. No, not having a chance to prepare. I heard they don't pass that much. Is that no, right, they Chris? don't. Okay. Just on the season, they do have 77 passes, but uh, not not a lot. And here's one's up top. We got position. Out of bounds. Okay. Double coverage with. Jamal Johnson having the better angle of anybody and it was thrown out of bounds or it would have been picked off. Well, first series for uh, Southwest, they go four and out. They kind of ran uh, Folker there, their, their tailback there with the, with the uh, attempt there, but that fell short. Jamal Johnson, who the last time we were here two weeks ago had an outstanding game both on special teams as well as defense. And they do kick it to Johnson. He's gonna let it roll and then he picks it up at the 27. He's across the 30, 35, 36. Knee may have hit at the 38, Greg, but uh, South's gonna have the first chance with the football. Good field position. Sometimes when you only have that one back receiving, uh, you're indecisive whether you should receive or not. And he took a, it was a clean play, one bounce. And did the right thing. I think he gained about seven, eight yards on it. Yeah, probably saved him a good bunch of yards. Yeah, could have been a bad bounce and going the other way. Here we go. Well, number two, Taylor Schwartz, quarterback. Tailback, of course, is Ray Smith. He's got 520 yards in conference. Jake Billman, 26, is the, uh, the up back, which I think is the best fullback in the league. This is Nick Wilson, 19, in motion. And the handoff is off to, oh, it's not, uh, that is not, Ray Smith, it looked like Chris Nava, I think, with the carry there. Let's see, that was number 31, that's Chris Nava, you're correct. He does have an excellent start. Obviously, being a little small, he can't carry the ball as many times as Ray can in a game, but he can give you that burst sometimes, Chris. What did we gain, one, maybe one and a half? Well, it looks like he gained maybe three. We'll give him okay. three, we'll, we'll stretch it out there. Well, make it two. Here's an end run for Nava. Ooh, and a big hit there by uh, number 34, Ben Folker. But uh, Nava gets across the 45. We'll call it the 47. Should set up third and short. About two and a half or three. You guys are better. I know you and Marty go through <laughs> this every week. <laughs> so I won't say anything. You're the boss, Chris. Well, well, just call it right over the 46. We'll call it uh, third down and three. Number 82, Zach Duquette on our side here. Wilson on the far side. Schwartz gets a handoff, keeps it, and tries to lunge forward. Oh, and he oh, might have got maybe. it. Must have got a good supper at home. You Sheboygan people would understand buttered noodles. <laughs> Anyhow, I think we're just short by about inches. It's a tough call, Chris. What do you think? I think he's just short. What do you want to do if he is? Well, we got midfield here. I think, uh, I don't know, you're playing at home, playoff line. You got a nice offensive line that's progressed a lot. I like when he goes to uh, co-coach uh, Chris Hine and asks what his opinion is and, you know, asks the defense instead of just you know, making a decision himself. Right. And a really good idea, I think, is to ask for a measurement here because that gives you a little bit more time to think about it. Now, that was kind of a scrum. I didn't see Taylor even hang on to the ball. He got a little bit further than I would have guessed. We're short by about a foot and a, two feet, huh? Almost a yard. And they're coming out. We're playing field position, I guess, Chris. Yep, not a, not a bad idea. Good try there by Schwartz, just a little bit short. And on fourth down, looks like they're going to punt it away. Coach Pfeiffer did say that he likes to play field position, especially early in the game. He got away from that about two weeks ago, and you remember it almost cost us. As a matter of fact, West scored that one time. Yep. 
on that. So I guess he's back to his roots and says, we're going to play field position. Let's stop him down here. Well, and he does have a good defense, and it's tough to, to drive a, a longer distance. And early in the game, don't give anything up. Boy, Tank's going to punt it. Want to keep it away from number 34, Folker. Maybe they're going to try to draw him off sides. Southwest not falling for it. They're going to take the penalty, delay a game. That was a key play last week, South against Preble. We were playing even into the second, mid, towards the end of the second quarter, and we had them fourth and three. They drew us offside and delayed fake punt and another penalty, and then eventually they kind of took over after that, but that's what we were going for, too. Well, I'm not 100% for that. If you are going to play the field position game, you might as well just punt it away and... Uh, you know, now you're giving Southwest an extra five yards. There's not much of a wind again. You know, most of the weeks we've we've had games, there hasn't been any. Last week <laughs> was just unbelievable with the swale. But Hoy takes uh -oh. a bad snap, and it's oh, blocked. Yeah. So much for that. Uh-oh. Well, the ball is picked up by Southwest, and with the bad snap, number 98 got the ball. Brian Anderke, and this puts Southwest in a great position. Well, we were going to go field position, and that changes everything. Southwest ball on about the three-yard line. Bad snap, and Hoytink couldn't handle it. And then uh, by the time he did handle it, there was four white jerseys right there. And unfortunately for South, they're putting a, in a big dilemma here. We'll call it first down on the four. That's what uh, Phil Risto has on the board. Here's Folker trying to get outside. Nice play there. Nice by, play by Ben Hendricks. You got that right. But he still managed to crawl Ball forward. Yep. Yeah. Had to give him his knee landed about the line of scrimmage. Is that right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Second and goal from the four. Good job of Hendricks coming up there and grabbing a shoestring here. Let's see if they come Hendricks this side to the long side of the field. Chester behind center, gives it to Folker again, and again a big stop, this time number 30, 35, which we don't have the number or don't remember who that is. I think they gained maybe a yard, so this is the big player. Do you know anything about their kicking game? No, I don't. Steve Bakhti is, I believe, number 35. He made the stop. I We're, think he was originally 50-something. You're right. When the numbers were issued at the beginning of the year. We're going to call a two-yard gain. that sets up third down and two, and there Southwest gets it in for a touchdown. Would have been interesting to see if we could have held him there. Bad snap cost. Now, we can't afford turnovers. This game is about pretty even. Turnovers might tell a story, Chris. There's one of them, that bad snap. Yeah, and I said that in the opening, uh, Greg, you didn't hear me. I said turnovers have been something that's kind of been the difference all year. Yes, as you mentioned, too, playing at home, they've been undefeated at home, but the turnovers has cost them. And again, uh, unfortunately, it strikes here early. And the extra point looks no good. Wide left. Okay, that's a help. Yep. Well, at the end of... Uh, well, excuse me, with seven minutes and 15 seconds left, it's Southwest seven, South, excuse me, six, South zero. Time is coming. There's no escape from the day you retire. And will you be ready financially? Are you ready, dear? You still can be with investments like an IRA or a retirement plan at work. It's never too late. But start now, because if you wait... You're making a grave mistake. You may wind up working forever. Saving for your financial future doesn't have to be a nightmare. Choose to save. Welcome back to South High, where Southwest took advantage of a... Big block punt on South. They got the ball on the four and they punched it in to take the early 6-0 uh, lead. As you can tell, they didn't miss the extra point. Kicking off for Southwest. We don't have a number. So he's gonna kick it. Unbalanced kick about the five yard line. Yeah, Jamal here. Johnson. Yeah, Jamal Johnson's got a little wall here. He's got an opening. He's all he's gotta do is beat. He's got some daylight, Chris. 
Spins off one tackler and it's going to get down to the 30. And once again, Jamal Johnson has been a big highlight. Every time, that two weeks ago, South fell behind 7-0. Jamal Johnson got a punt return for a TD, but he didn't get a TD this time, Greg, but he did put South in great field position. I don't see a flag either. He's been Mr. Excitement on both punt returns and kick returns. It's been one of those situations where it's like a slight bobble and the defense just pauses for a second and off he goes. Here we are at the 32 yard line. Let's come right back here. Well, Taylor Schwartz barking out the signals. He's looking to pass and he gets deflected at line of scrimmage and it's picked oh, off. Oh. Drew Vanderlyn got his big paws up there, I believe it was. Knocked it down. Number 99, we don't have any any size, so we don't know how big he is. But it was tipped at the line and somebody dove on it. So two quick turnovers here in our first two possessions. Well, just like that, Southwest has the ball at about the 38. There's Folker again. Hendricks right there all over him. And again, good swarming defense by the Red Wings as Folker has no place to go. Looks like maybe a loss of a yard. They have had seven offensive series now. I think they got a total of about four yards, but unfortunately they started one of those on South three yard line. Yeah, that's Folker's got just two yards rushing so far. We'll set up second down and we'll call it 11. And motion is 84. He's coming Nelson. to his right. Jamal Johnson's got position, a short pass. Nice play by Adam Math. Adam has done a great job this year, coach. Yeah, he has. And uh, I like the way he's a hustler on the baseball field as well. And he really does swarm to the ball. And he's not the tallest of kids. He's, you know, basically just, what, 5'11 or so. And That's probably a stretch. <laughs> or 5'7, but. Uh, you see him in baseball, so you know he plays hard. Yep. And the same thing in football. He gives every everything he's got. We got a third down here. Ball on the 39. Call it uh, third and eight. Chester rolling out. Here comes the south pressure. He's giving it a wing. He's got Johnson beat, but Johnson recovers quickly. Ooh, he picked it. Watch, he took it off the ground. Well, I saw it in the playoffs the other day. Maybe the same thing here. Jamal Johnson off of number 84, Brandon Nelson's hands, and Jamal Johnson got the turnover right back. He just picked it off the turf. It was tipped by Johnson, and either way, incomplete or picked off, and we'll take that. Here we go on the 20, well, 22 yard line. Chris Nava's at the uh, Deep back again, Chris. I don't know if you heard anything about I don't, Smith. No, I don't. The opposite 39. Oh, Schwartz got away. Navas is going to try to use his speed, and he couldn't quite get away from number 45, uh, Eric Rottier. I'm looking on the sideline for number 38, Ray Smith. Right now, I can't see. Thought about a two yard gain there for Nava. The uh, second down, five minutes left in the first quarter, six nothing Southwest. Well, Smith is in the game right now. Uh, uh, Smith great. in there, you're right. Somebody moved, we'll see which side did. Looks like preliminary is against the defense offside. They call it so quick nowadays, Chris, they never give you a free play like they used to. Yep, yeah, as soon as he goes across, I guess you could say the neutral area, it's automatically a penalty. So that'll set up second down and we'll call it two. Ball's on the 30. There's Smith with the ball. Over to 35, we'll call it the 37. First down, Red Wings. Nice hole right from the start. Line doing a nice job up front. 
You know, Chris, they were all juniors to start the season, except for JL, John Lindsay, but uh, they're not juniors anymore. It's that time of the year where they're as experienced as anybody else. And it's starting to show. 429 left. Almost movement. There may have been on defense again. Look like somebody jumped right in the middle. Let's see if we can get another break. I think you're right. Tack on five more. Well, that makes things a little bit easier. First and five. The past four or five games, we've had a great first half moving the ball. Let's hope this continues here. Again, minus the turnovers. Schwartz parks out the single, gives it to Smith, kind of hits outside. We're going to get a illegal block in the back, though, I think, Greg. Going to take away that uh, big gainer. Yeah, it would have been a gain of about five, I think six. He might have had the first down, but that stretch play, I, I couldn't see the number. I don't know who. Got to be an illegal block. A hold. You were here early in the year, Chris. You remember the penalties in that Slinger game, for instance? Things have gotten better since, but we oh, still yeah. seem to get one in a key drive all the time. Absolutely, and something that's really, you know, hurt them. I think, I think you hit it right on the head there. I mean, you've seen South play all year as, as well. I've just seen them at home, but it seems like penalties and turnovers have been been their downfall. I'm gonna call it first and 17. There's a stretch play, Chris. Yep, hand off to Smith. He's trying to get away. He's trying, but a great tackle there by number 80, Matt Jensen for Southwest. Boy, I'll tell you what, Ray Smith tried to get away, tried to get away, but just couldn't. Thought he would also, but uh, we still, what do we get? Two yards, I guess, second down. 12, oh, we gained five. Probably gonna have to put the ball in the air in this sequence. Oh, it's second down. Gilman's in a slot. Up to 34, Smith going the other way. And this time, Southwest penetrates. And it's gonna set up third and long. Coach, we do have one injury of note for South. Uh, Jacob Noltner, the tight end in which we do go a two tight end series, he's not going to be able to play this game, so that'll kind of change the way we look at certain situations. They call it third down. Third and about 15, 16, huh? Yeah, well, 17 maybe. Okay. And they're going to go with the simple play to Jake Billman over the middle. But uh, he's not going to gain very much, and that's going to set up a fourth down, and Anthony Hoytank's going to go back out on the field and punt the ball. We're down to 227 already in the first quarter. Southwest six, south zero. Big John Lindsay running off the field. Back to receive the kick is Andy Bost, and Ben Fulker is number 34. They switched him around this time to see if they can fool south. Let's make sure of our snap. Good snap, pretty good rush. Another short punt. Look out, Adam. Well, well takes a south bounce for a while at about the 36 yard line. So we've had three sequences, a bad snap on a punt, a tip pass, and now a penalty held us back. So that's not what we need to, need to have, that's for sure. Well, I'll tell you what, Greg, Anthony Hoyton got Rocked that time on the punt, but the official decided not to call anything. And, I don't uh, think you got a piece of the ball. No, and uh, I don't know how you can just run into a punter like that and not call anything. And I mean, I don't think there was any acting involved either. But anyways, we can't worry about that. On the other end, starting on the 36, here comes Southwest again, and again, good defense by Coach Hines' crew as they sh shut down the runner there. I think it was number 11 that time. Mason Leibergen. Except for their turnover, our offense looks like they're even having a better job than their offense, but yet we're down six zip. Our defense has come to play tonight, Chris. They're giving me a yard, so it's second and nine.
Chester running the option. Turned up by Ben Hendricks again. Never did pitch it out. About a line of scrimmage, I think, third and 11. Call it a no gain again, which will set up third down and nine. Last minute of the first half, and excuse me, first quarter, and a very fast first quarter at that. Chris Wright along with Greg Schwartz, Mike Martins not here tonight. I think Ben Hendricks has about four or five tackles all at the line of scrimmage or behind. Quick draw play. Give that to Liebergen. Got a bunch of yards, but I think he's gonna still be a little short. Gonna Greg. be a yard to a yard and a half short. Second effort, got him that. Set up fourth down and called a yard. Now it's up to southwest of the side and they just might wait. No, they're gonna get a measurement as well. As you said before, they wanna take a look so they can further determine. They haven't, they certainly haven't dominated the line of scrimmage, so if I was them, I'd think twice about going for it. A little less than a yard. What, we got a foot and a half, Chris? That's less than I thought they had. Yeah, now on the same situation, South punted the ball. See what Southwest does, and they're going to do the same thing. They're going to play the uh, yard game as well. Again, we have to watch out for drawing us offside, as Preble did last week. I'm sure Coach Hine will remind them, or Coach Renzelman is in charge of the special teams. Yep. We'll see if they run it all the way down. We're down to 15 seconds, 10. Jamal Johnson back. There's no wind to speak of, so that won't be a factor. So they're going to punt it with about two seconds in the quarter. Gets off a nice spiral. Jamal feels it well. Yeah, he feels that to 16 and not a lot of yardage this time. Well, that's the last play of the first quarter with Green Bay Southwest leading the, the uh, Red Wings of South six to nothing. Breakthrough Machine gave us insight into the bones as another did for the heart and another for the brain. Now doctors are using a new machine to practice medicine and save lives. The difference is, it's one you can use too. When you log on to MedlinePlus.gov from the National Library of Medicine and the National Institutes of Health, you're tapping into the largest, most comprehensive medical website in the world. MedlinePlus.gov, the website doctors prescribe. Wisconsin, life's so good. Call 1-800-432-TRIP or visit TravelWisconsin.com. Okay, Chris, coming back. Yeah, here we go. Second quarter action. Sheboygan South is going to start with it. First down and 10 from their own 23. Taylor Schwartz, a quarterback. That's Nick Wilson in motion. Ray Hand Smith, off. that tailback. Yeah, when he gets the ball, it's close to the 25. Call it a gain of about oh, two. We're giving them two yards, so we'll give them two yards. Well, that was a pretty close quarter there, uh, Greg. I'll tell you in a minute the yards, you'll be shocked. Uh, Here's a swing out pass to Wilson. All he's got to do is beat one guy. He's not going to do it, but he does get across the 27 as Taylor completes his first pass of the game. He just had one pass in the first uh, quarter. That was his second pass. Uh, 17 yards of offense for South, 11 yards of offense for Southwest. Yeah, it was rather ugly. <laughs> I, I think we can move the ball now if we get in the routine here. Yeah. Nick Wilson, that short pass, you've seen it all year long. Sometimes Nick can break that first tackle. He is leading the conference in receiving. A lot of those have to do with that. Well, we got third and five. Ball to 28. 
Pass to Wilson, he's got an open, he's across five, good good block there by Duquette. He's still on his feet, oh, they call him out of bounds, I think. Yeah, he was across the 35, across the 40, we'll call it out to the 42, and a big third down conversion there. You see the replays, Nick Wilson, it's out to about the 40, I said 42 at first, we'll call it the 41. Nice pitch and catch. I haven't seen that play. He was in motion, kind of, and he had single coverage, and he beat the man that was covering him. Nice play. Here's Wilson in motion again. Hand off to Smith again. We're going on that left side there, and tough yardage there, maybe three yards for Smith. Big GL on that side of the line of scrimmage. John Lindsay, last year, first team all-conference. Is a force. He's a leader also. Experience in football is invaluable, Chris. It really is. Called second down and eight from about the 43. Schwartz running the stretch play to Smith. And he can He's got go. Some room. He's, He's gone. Can... No flags, Chris. He's gone. Nobody's going to catch him. Five, four, three, two, touchdown. 59 yards, 58 yards, we run. Well, that helps the Southsiders with a big run by Smith to get the game back to even. Six to six with 9.52 left in the uh, second quarter. Extra points have been an adventure the last few weeks. Now let's make this one good as Mr. Crowns is in here selling his 50-50s. Looking forward to girls basketball season about what, coach, two weeks? And you're ready, I know you're ready. <laughs> Alex Eisner gonna do the extra point kicking there. Well, we had basically no offense, and just like that, it tripled on a 50-yard run there by Ray Smith. Let's make sure of a snap, that's been a question also. Good snap, good hold. Blasted, and good. That was perfect, there we go. And with 9.52 left, it's Sheboygan South seven, Green Bay Southwest six. For me, it's giving the best of myself. For me, it's the professional team environment and the mutual respect that I share with my colleagues. For me, it's providing my patients with the best and safest care possible. For me, it's having the latest in healthcare technologies and the privilege of providing the best health care to America's veterans. We are the nurses of VA. VACareers.com, a career in caring. Hey, welcome back to South High School where Ray Smith just won 58 yards to give South a seven to six lead. First chance for Southwest with the ball in the second quarter. They were held to just uh, basically 13 total yards in the first quarter. Uh, they really shut down their big back. Second leading runner in the conference, Ben Folker, to just two yards. I don't think anybody touched Ray in that stretch play. No. Nope. And that's not a secret. I mean, we've been doing that play all year. Here's number 48 with the run back here, Nick Bacon. And oh, he's got a big opening out to about the 46 yard line. How many times do you see it? Anytime there's a hesitation, a slight bobble, or the ball is loose, and the defense on the kickoff just kind of breaks down for that slight second or split second. Well, the officials are talking, but maybe they're just talking about where they're going to go get late supper. There is a flag, Chris, oh, at their feet. Oh, okay. All right, there it is. <laughs> I didn't see it at first. I'm like, got to be a reason they're there. And face mask face against mask. South. It's just a five-yard job. So that'll make them start at the midfield about. Yeah. Penalty number three on South. And uh, with that, Southwest will start in their own territory. Oh, they're right at midfield, I'm sorry. 9.45 in the second quarter. They have had basically no offense so far, Chris. No, 13 yards, one for three passing, and uh, 11 yards on the ground. Timeout. Well, with that timeout, we're gonna take a break ourselves. Seven to six South. Second quarter. Do you know how many kids are risking their health by eating unhealthy foods, stuffing themselves, and not getting any exercise? Thank goodness. You got here just in time. Where's the problem? In there. Hey, what's going on? What are you doing? Here, try this. 
the original fast food. Doctors know that our children need a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, high-fiber vegetarian foods to help them grow up healthy. Call for a free booklet or visit kidsgethealthy.org. Healthy at the age of 30. <laughs> We're just talking about a, a relationship, baseball relationship. Good first quarter for the South defense. What did you say the total yards was? So far, Southwest has about 15, 20 13. yards. The most, 13 yards. 11 on the ground and two through the air. Here's Chester. Quick handoff up the middle. This has been the most successful runner so far. Mason Liebergen, and he had uh, nine yards in the first quarter. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. Now, you may or not may not know, fans, but Southwest has to win one more to make the playoffs, and they play at Manitowoc next week. And Sheboygan South plays... Green Bay East. Green Bay East, up in Green Bay. So, yeah. But South has to win them both. Chester. This time going to try to run it outside. Cuts it inside. But South pretty much there to shut that down again. Sometimes that option is slow to develop and you can't always see who has the ball. And that was rather slow. They picked up maybe, what, two yards? So third and two. Big play here is we could, if they get first down here, he'll probably be in the four down zone. They may even be now. Yeah. Be close. Yeah. Third and about two. Chester hands it off to Fulker, but there is the Red Wings to shut him down, and he's not going to get the first down, Greg. I think he lost the yardage, and I can't tell you about the four or five bodies that just swarmed over him. That's team defense. It looks like the new unit, they're going to punt. Wow, what an outstanding job by the Red Wings again. Punting on about there you the, see uh, the replay. 45 yard line. Well, Johnson's inside the 10. Looks like they may, it's over his head and it's, uh oh. Well, Let's see where they spotted, Chris. They're he looking at a, each they're other. They're calling it a touchback. Break for South. You aren't kidding. It hit about the two, and I don't know where they're going to call that or not. Well, South will take over on the 20. Now leading the ball game. Now leading the ball game seven to six. 7.48 left in the first half in which been a very fast first half. And as soon as I say that, Greg, he'll probably slow down. Fourth time with the ball tonight for the Red Wing offense. Good time they're waiting for him on a stretch, that's for sure. He didn't get Yeah, not much for Smith there. In fact, I think it's gonna be a loss. About three, big one. No, I thought it was maybe just me, a fast moving game, because I hadn't been in the booth for a long time, but didn't it seem exceptionally fast? Well, we've only had very few passes. I think we've only had Four, three by South and two, one by Southwest, maybe. I think that's right. It. Three, three and three, six, six total passes okay. in the whole game so far. And you know they don't like to throw either team very much. South does sprinkled in a little bit more. Well, Taylor's got an outside little go up here. He's against the 20, breaks off one tackle, gets it out to about the 24. Ran a long way, but uh, yeah, he just stretched outside and did, he did more running than he did north south, I guess. Game maybe well, I guess we get game five. So. Yeah, because they were they had that loss of six, so we'll we'll give Taylor a a run there. Of oh, well, he's out to the 24 yard line. We'll give him a seven yard run. His first time carry, well, second time carrying the ball actually. He had a scrum on one. We don't know. Yep. Yeah. I think it's a passing situation, Chris. Third down and about six. Let's see if they use uh, Andy Lancer. We haven't called his name yet tonight. Nope. Big pump. Being rushed heavy, get rid of it. And he did, and it's a good thing. Well, I think what they wanted to do there was, you know, bring everybody to the right and then throw back to Billman left. And uh, Southwest was just a big wall of white. There's no place for him to go. And instead of trying to throw it away, 
I think he did the right decision there and just threw it incomplete. I don't know if it was intended to the right. Coach Pfeiffer's having a few words with Taylor. So is Coach Beckham, the quarterback coach, who we get, give congratulations to as he's gotten an administrative job yep. at Urban now. Yep. And I know South, he's still going to finish out the season, but if we lose him, that is a major loss because he is an excellent, excellent coach. Yeah, I've been on the staff here at South for a long time. Hoyt Tank with another punt. And this that could time, take one of those bounces. Uh-oh. Good call, Coach, but uh, Folker picked it up off the ground, and he's quick. He runs into his own guy, but he is inside of South Territory where he gets stopped there by number 35, Steve Bakhti. But good field position for Southwest. Had he not touched that, it would have been one of those kind of take a 15, 20 yard bounce, I think. Made a good play there just to, to stop it from doing that. There's a timeout, Coach. There you see the replay there. So we trail on and... Uh, That's the first time he's shown the fact that he is second leading rusher. He hasn't shown too much otherwise. No. There is no timeout, I'm sorry. Thought I heard a whistle. Chester uh, handing it off this time to a Folker who does not gain very much again as South is right there. Maybe we'll give him two yards on the play. And again, a good job by the interior line there, number 55, That's Brad Brookins right in there. Brad's been getting more and more playing time since about the third game in the season. He's been doing a heck of a job. Junior, be back next year. His brother, Mike, is in the interior defense. He's a nose tackle or defensive tackle. Call it down, second down and nine. They're in the four down zone, Chris, wouldn't yep. you agree? Yep. The old wishbone backfield for uh, Southwest. They give it to Fulker again, and he's not going anywhere. Don Valdez picks him up. Couple guys up, and Fulker, I'll tell you what, this guy has been just stifled tonight. We're gonna call that a, another loss of a yard. He has minus one yards rushing so far tonight, Greg. You know, Chris, more and more teams select their teams by starting with the defense first, and you can see sometimes how quick it is. A wishbone sometimes won't do it against a quick defense. We've seen it just a couple examples this year, and it just doesn't seem to work. We'll take that again. What are we at, third and 10? Yeah. Chester probably in a passing situation. Hasn't had many of those. But before that happens, before that happens, we're going to get a uh, penalty of sorts. 439 left. Delay a game, coach. We'll yeah. take that too. 439 left in the first half, 7 6 south. They're going to march five yards back. No, it's a passing down, except they do have probably during the four down zone. Yeah, they are in that area where, you know, it's almost too, too close to punt. Right. But, uh, you know, we'll have to wait and see what happens after this. They're going to try to. snap, keeper. Yeah, not much room there for Chester at all. Maybe back to the original line of scrimmage, if, if that, that. If that. Let's make it fourth and about a short 12, if there is such a thing as a short 12. <laughs> Ball, is, we'll call it about the 34 yard line. Now you would think it's a passing play, Chris. Yeah. I know we don't blitz a lot. Well, when they do, they're very good at it, I'll tell you that. Just one for three passing so far for Southwest. Here they drop, he's got Vanderlyn wide open. Oh, oh! And he missed him. Well, I think Kyle Ryder came in and blocked his vision just a little bit as a free space safety spot. This is his second start in the last two weeks. He started earlier in the year, and he's back in that position, and he filled in just the way he should, and I think that the receiver lost sight of the ball, Chris. You know, we see things up in the booth develop that aren't always as easy to see in the field, you know? Yeah, these are the best seats in the house. Well, good job by the South defense. Short yardage there, but they held again. And uh, South takes over with about four minutes left on the 33-yard line. Billman went in motion there to hand off his to, to Smith. He fumbles the oh. football. And I think, I think it's going to be Southwest ball. Nope. It is. Oh, jeez. And another turnover 
for Sheboygan South. And just like that, Coach Hine, who was just talking to the troops, tells them to go out there and stifle them and stop them again. That ball squirted out. And I didn't see a lot of jubilation on Southwest part, so I was kind of hoping, hoping nothing happened, but that wasn't the case. So this is the ball where he, they just stopped their drive. Yeah, started on the 33 last time. Now we're on the 36. Can't give him this many chances. That was close to a procedure. Volker goes across the 35. We'll call it the 34. Under four minutes, if we can hold a miss series and get out of halftime with a lead, that could be huge. They have just done an outstanding job on Volker. He's got two yards, two yards rushing. And then about eight carries, I'd say. You do the math, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh we got him! That's a loose ball, Chris! Yeah, I think that's 21. Jake Schur Jake is gonna Schur. score. Jake he's in! No flags, it looks like it's gonna stand. Could that be a fumble or an interception? I'm not sure, either way. Will we get a replay of that? It was yeah, we will. Very close, you're right. Maybe we'll call that an interception. I wanna say it is, okay. South sent the blitz. South sent the blitz, and when on the blitz, Jake Schur picked off the interception. Here you'll see it, 35. Steve Bakhti on the interception, and, and it was off to the races was Jake Schur. What a play, and we wouldn't mind seeing that pickle again. That was awesome. So we'll, we'll go on records and saying it's an interception, right? Yep. Here's the extra point. Last time it was a perfect snap, hold and kick. Well, a little high this time, but good job there, Alex Eisner. And it's good. And just like that, the Red Wings lead 14 to six. There are two paths a child can take. Sir, try not to move. For over 25 years, we've been helping children choose the right one. Communities and schools, helping kids stay in school and prepare for life. Well, how about that, Greg? 63-yard interception. How quickly things change. We gave him a quick touchdown and we took one back. And we'll call an interception. His hand was moving forward, you're correct. Jake Sure, 63 yards, did you say? 63 yards. Now they have all their timeouts. They have two timeouts left. You can hold them here. Nice kick there by Hoytink. And we're gonna say Southwest is across the 37. First down, Southwest. And in a game of kind of mistakes, each team's taking advantage of each other. And, and with that, Southwest, or excuse me, South has the lead 14 to six. A bad uh, snap cost uh, South, but now an interception right back at it. And the uh, one long touchdown run by Smith. Otherwise, it's been a really bo good ball game. And turnovers have been the difference. It's been exceptionally fast. I keep thinking I'm missing something here. <laughs> we got 3.14 in the first half. Chester, oh, a broken play. I would say a broken play, and he gained a couple of yards from it, about three. Yeah, their best play of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Bakhti, a sophomore, has been stepping up the last couple weeks also. I know it's been said time and time again, but South would love to get in the playoffs just to show that last year's exceptional team uh, was one thing, but that the program is to the point where we're gonna make the playoffs most of the time, so this yep. is big. Yep, they've made it the last two years. There's a quick handoff up the middle. That's Liebergen. Maybe two yards, coach. Three yards. 
They aren't using any timeouts, and they have two left. They're at 222 and a half. Lybergen's been their best back, uh, Greg. He's got 17 yards rushing so far. But besides from that, they've been pretty snifled by this uh, Red Wing defense. It'll be interesting to see the number of offensive plays they've had, both teams. It seems like nobody's on the offense for any, any length of time there. Oh. Nobody was open, coach. He had to eat it. Call that a coverage sack. And John we'll, Valdez. Yeah, we'll give that sack to Valdez. And just like that, Southwest is going to have to punt the ball right back to the Red Wings. And with a minute 53 left, South decides to call timeout. And with that, we'll take a quick timeout. South 14, Southwest 6. on the site, baby. This calls for a celebration. <laughs> well, we're obsessed with getting you government information. Make it doodle dandy. Make it. What are those? Government surplus cars for auction. You posted those online last time. No, you did. I'm posting them online this time. Just log on or email us and get what you need. Firstgov.gov. Welcome back to South High School. Southwest is in a punting situation. Good timeout by South there to force that punt. And South should have some pretty good field position, maybe about the 20. Good rush there by Valdez. I don't Valdez. think there'll be a return. Looks like about the 35 or so. And South will start at Call it the 33 yard line, Greg. 146 left. Do you think we'll try and move the ball or play it safe? I'd go for it, wouldn't you? I, I know they've been passing <laughs> more the last couple of weeks. I know, I was thinking the same thing, but I'd like to see them. Uh, give we a really call. haven't had a straight drop back pass yet. This will determine, I guess, what we're going to do here. I think that's a, a big, big, big thing that you said there. Good comment. See if Smith can run one off here. Now uh, we're going to go to, oops. He trips and falls over the 30-yard line. I think he fell over the 30-yard oh, line. <laughs> Call it a loss of about two yards for Smith. Now, Ray's an explosive runner. He's had some, as you saw in the first, first half, he had a great run. But he's also had a couple where things just didn't develop. And, you know, we've got to find that place. Young, he's a sophomore, so we'll find that point where he can be more, a little bit more consistent. And I think that has to do with the offensive line as well. Well, we'll keep it here. Another timeout by South. Next week, we got two ball games for you. Thursday, it'll be Sheboygan North and their homecoming game. Unfortunately, they didn't give them a good uh, opponent for that as number one ranked division three Green Bay Notre Dame comes into town. There you see the tail of the tape. And then on Saturday, we'll be over at Lakeland College for our first college game. So uh, look at your uh, local listings and things on Cable 8 to find out when those two ball games will be. And then hopefully, hopefully we'll be having maybe a playoff game next week Tuesday uh, with Sheboygan South, depending uh, on where it is and how Are you going to go on the road, Chris, if they do? We have gone on the road before. It'll just depend on where it is. If it's in uh, lacrosse, I don't think we're going. <laughs> but, Aren't uh, you getting expenses? <laughs> <laughs> and most likely South, because they will probably be a three or four in their conference, will probably have to go on the road someplace. Well, that, the if they win. A they pretty top seed, too, I would Yeah, think. if they win out, though, that test come first. There's the option to Smith. He's got another open. He's at the cross of 35, trying to stretch out to the 40. We're down to a minute 26. And a big gainer there by Smith. Okay, run well. We faked up the middle and kept it. And Schwartz kept it and pitched out to Smith. Gained about five. Clock is running. So this will determine whether we're going to use a timeout or not if we get a first down here. Yeah, South not exactly rushing to it. We got third down and four. About a minute left in the first half. And now Coach Pfeiffer calls timeout. Didn't like what he saw. And so he calls a quick timeout. Either that or he changed his mind about something. He went out there rather quickly, so we'll see what, what's up here. As I said, uh, Southwest has one timeout left, if the clock is correct. 
Yeah, we have a whole makeshift crew here tonight, Greg. You, of course, are subbing for Marty, but uh, you're an old veteran of this stuff. Uh, Andy McKillops, uh, normally our top camera, our stat guy, the guy who's been giving the trivia questions. He's down on the bottom camera today. Brian Andrews isn't here. And uh, there's me. That's uh, Andy giving the giving the little different view there. We don't want to see Greg right now. We'll see him later. Uh, Beth Schnelli is up on the top camera. And uh, Kerry Kautzer, the longtime veteran, spinning the dials. And uh, on a very nice, comfortable day, there you see a good shot of, of Beth up there. We got to get her here like last weekend when it was like 35 degrees and the wind was swirling. Tonight it's about six degrees and pleasant. Well, we got a third down and four and a very big four yards for South. You don't want to allow Southwest to get the ball back. Taylor's going to roll out. He's going to look downfield. He's got Lancer open and Billman, but he overshoots Billman, and that'll set up a punt for Sheboygan South. We could have maybe waited a split more second to let some separation go. He kind of had to force that to make sure it was wide of Billman, and if we'd have waited just that little bit, a little bit more time, made it separate a little bit more. I don't think it's going to cost anything, as we'll hope. The first down there would have made things interesting as we would have called a timeout and seen if we could have moved things. Yeah. Well, with fourth down and 51 seconds left. Let's make sure of our snap. That's cost gave them the only touchdown they've scored. And they do kick it away from Folker. And, and he's got some running room, yeah. Coach. Yeah, this is Andy Bost, and he does got good field position into South Territory. And I'll tell you what, the punt coverage hasn't been the best tonight. That was bad. I don't know on the left side. He hit an opening. He didn't do anything tricky. He just, there was no one there. Yeah, they've had some good punt returns and kick returns. And again, Southwest is inside of uh, South's 40 yard line. Here you see the return and just a quick burst there by Andy Bost. And uh, that, that'll give them the ball. First down and 10 with 41 seconds left on the 36. And the South defense has been so outstanding. But how many times can you ask them to stop them? I guess one more before half would be good. And again, a good stop as they go up the middle there to number 11. Liebergen. Southwest immediately calls a timeout. Well, that's a little bit strange there, I think. You got, I mean, you're, you're in good field position. You might as well take some shots down the field. I know they're not throwing the ball. They're just one for five tonight uh, with uh, an interception. Uh, they're one for five, as a matter of fact, for a whopping two yards. But uh, boy, they don't uh, take any chances, Greg. Maybe we should find out if their kicking game is any good. Maybe that's a factor that we don't know. Yeah, well. Do you remember the uh, kicker from Green Bay West about blew everybody's socks off? Yeah. Exchange student from Brazil? Yeah. <laughs> Hit a 30 yard field goal that would have been another 20 yeah. yards good? Yeah. Let's hope they don't have that same thing here. <laughs> well, the uh, second down and seven, 37 ticks on the clock, but Southwest now is out of timeout. Is that correct? Yes, they okay. called. They called some earlier, I remember, and uh, so now they're basically forced into uh, to uh, basically passing the ball, and they got to get first down because if they don't get a first down, the clock will just keep running. Now we might get a delay. No, nope, we're going to maybe get a motion penalty. They're pointing He's at pointing to a left guard, I think. Yeah, it's never good to be pointed at. And one guard's pointing to the tackle, saying, "I didn't do what you did." <laughs> I don't think pointing's a good thing. <laughs> Offensive linemen never get credit, they just get discredit. <laughs> well, now you got a situation where they're all the way back to the 38. Even if you pass the ball, the only way you can stop is the first down. So South's got to really play it safe, I think, here, Greg. You know, if they catch it up in, in front, you know, make the tackle. The only way the clock can stop is on uh, first downs, and then they got to go right away. So Just by what we've seen, I don't think they have a really good two-minute drill type offense either. No. Nope. Chester back to pass, don't allow the big play. He's got plenty of time. Uh-oh, he's got some separation. Well, he tried to get the ball down to uh, Lewis Gass, but that did not work. Adam Math on the coverage, and I think Jake Reuter helping out, the, or Kyle Reuter helping out at the free safety. That'll set up. Third and 12. Yeah, third and 12, and again, just don't let anybody get behind you, I think is the key here. It'd be nice to see the quarterback have to hurry his throw. He had a lot of time on that one. Although we're only rushing straight four right now. Yep. Five defensive backs, or four defensive backs and three deep linebackers. 
Chester going to try to give it a shot again. Same play. Super time. We got that one covered all over the place. Same two coverage, Adam and Kyle. Not a lot of imagination there. Same play, wasn't it, Coach? Yeah, it looked that, looked that way to me. And with that, it's now fourth down. I don't think they have anything to lose. They'll go for it. But Yeah, well. Yeah. You hate to see one big play happen all of a sudden. Let's just get a sack and be done with it. Scott Mellon, 10th year at Southwest. Last year he finished in fourth as well. And uh, as he comes into this ball game, he's uh, three and two, two games behind uh, Preble Notre Dame who are battling for the conference title tonight. Where's that team being held? You know, That's at Notre Dame. Okay. We're gonna throw the same play the other way and he's Jamal Johnson. Time. Jamal got inside position and wisely knocked it down. Very good point because, you know, you intercepted, you get on the 20. This way, you get it out on the 38. Uh, a very good decision there by Johnson, if that's what his intention was. And uh, so with 17 seconds left, we'll see if we decide to go deep or not. I think you're going to take a knee. But okay. uh, <laughs> it's been a game of no offense on no. either end. So Ben John, excuse me, Ben Chester. You're right. It's a knee. One for eight. One for eight passing. And uh, with that, there'll be the end of the first half, which is a very positive one for uh, Sheboygan South as they lead. And we do, unfortunately, as I say that, we have a hanky down on the field. 14 to six is our score. We're pointing towards the defense. Well, maybe now they give it a shot, huh? Well, that move used two seconds on the clock. Was that a uh, no play and it should have been a no second, but I guess not. Same. No, nope. they're going to do the same. Right. Well, with that, the uh, first half has ended with Sheboygan South leading 14 to 6. We'll be back with second half action right after our halftime performance. first hit me. Applied energy in a forward direction equals human locomotion. What does this all mean, Doc? Well, it changed life as we know it. I thought, wow, this concept might actually change the way we get from point A to point B. I felt like Einstein inventing the telephone. <clears throat> I give you the human foot. Get up, get out, get moving. A message from the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons. Thank you. 
give someone a fish. You feed them for a day. Teach someone to fish. You feed them for a lifetime. Give me a fish, and you'll feed me for a day. Teach me to fish, and you'll feed me for a lifetime. Through Volunteers of America, you can help change lives in your community. Two million seals and counting. Welcome back to South High School, where Sheboygan South leads Green Bay Southwest. As you see the score, 14 to six, we're ready for third quarter action in a very defensive-minded first half. Uh, Greg, got some stats for us there, or total yards actually, which is kind of quite shocking. Defense and also unusual. South had 17 yards passing, 109 yards rushing. That's not counting the minus yards. Uh, for sacks and so forth. And uh, Southwest, two yards passing and 33 yards rushing. So they have a total of 35 yards in the entire half. So it's been all South defense so far, but kind of a strange game. Right. And I, I got a chance, Chris, to talk to a couple of former alumni from last year's South team, Will Hartman and Trevor Klobuchek, and they just felt that right now South seemed to lack some emotion they came out. So maybe they can pick that up a notch. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see. And as we said, it's just a huge game from the outset. Sheboygan South needs to win both ball games to uh, qualify for the playoffs. Green Bay Southwest needs just one. As uh, Schwarty said before, we do have uh, Southwest has to go up to Manitowoc, which is a tough place to play in. And uh, the Red Wings, they'll be traveling Green Bay East, who also can make the playoffs with a couple wins. Well, Jake Billman's going to get the kickoff. Kind of a ground ball type. Yeah. And uh, South will start. Uh, third quarter play with the football at about the 36 yard line. I think the key as it always is, but even more so now is gonna be turnovers, Chris. If we can be turnover free second half, I think we'll be okay. Yeah, if there's been one negative to, to, to talk about South, they did have a fumble and a, and a blocked punt, a miscue on a, on a snap. We did make both extra points, so that was the key in this one. Well, Taylor Schwartz is just two for uh, Five throwing, 17 yards. And Ray Smith, that's number 38. He's, he's the ball carrier there. Not a lot of running room for him tonight as well. And as a matter of fact, we're calling him minus one yards. Uh, unofficially, I got Ray now for 71 yards and a touchdown. And the one was the 58 yard touchdown. So it's yeah. been a struggle, that's for sure. We, nobody has any consistency to speak of thus far. We could get a consistent run here that may even put it away. You hate to say it this early in the half, but the way things have looked. Well, here's the stretch play stretch that worked right, before. And we end up with maybe a yard. I'll tell you what, Southwest is swarming as well. Justin Johnson, number 26 on the play there. Uh, we didn't mention the uh, starting offensive line for uh, South. They start number 62, David Valdez. He's just a uh, junior, 6'3", 215. Big John Lindsay's number 63. He's the senior, the anchor, 6'3", uh, 290. Eric Bruning, uh, Mike Reamer, and uh, Tyler Courtright is your uh, big line there. Four juniors and a senior. Schwartz straight back, five yard drop. Lancer, and the laser pass by Schwartz hits Lancer, and he's across midfield all the way out to the 40-yard line in a nice 23-yard play, 24-yard pass, Schwartz to Lancer. Hit him in stride, Coach, and Lancer is a key weapon. We haven't used him much the last couple weeks. And he's a big, strong kid, that's for sure. It was an important part as a sophomore last year and even more so as a junior this year. Biggest gain throwing the ball tonight for the Red Wings as they move into Southwest territory. First down, we'll call it the 40. Fake handoff, Schwartz rolling out, throws it across field, and again, Lancer's open. You gotta find 99 because he's gonna get a big gain, but a couple penalties flagged markers down, maybe a hold and maybe a face mask, but we'll have to wait to let the officials decide here in a minute. 
Two different flags. It may be two to your right. It could be two different flags. I think there was a hold. Looked like it was an area Jake Bilma turned around and saying, did you see that? And then they threw one. They got one hole for sure on the offense. And maybe it's both on that, Chris. Yeah, here's the replay. You see not Sch Schwartz rolling left, which is tough. And again, they lost uh, Lance there, plowed over the 29. But with the holding penalty, they're going to lose a little bit of that yardage. So that's supposed to be tacked on from the point of the fall, right, Coach? That would be correct. So it probably no longer will be a first. Excuse me, it will be a first down, but it'll be now first and five. Well, it could have been worse, okay? Maybe yeah. we're starting to open things up, which can open up the ground game. Yeah, back-to-back -to -back passes to Lancer there. Uh, first time we used him all night. There was a couple passes complete earlier in the ball game to Nick Wilson. There's a handoff to Smith, plowing forward. <clears throat> Tries to get down to the 30. I think he's a little bit short of the first down. We're gonna call this a second and maybe one. Well, you know more than I do, Chris. You've done more high school games by a long shot, and I think we're in the four down zone, and that's big in high school. Yeah, and it's real, you know, this is real nice too. It should be second down and one, so nice four yard gain there. You old Packer fans remember when Starr and Bradkowski used to fake in the line and pass the dollar? <laughs> <laughs> That's a long time ago, oh, boy, yeah. dollar. There's a handoff up the middle, and it's stripped. They, oh. they stripped Smith of the ball there, Greg, and he fumbled it again, and it's his second fumble in the ball game. And again, a golden opportunity for uh, South, but they put it on the carpet, and Southwest you know, went just right in there and stripped it right from away from the young sophomore, Ray Smith. And uh, It wasn't a hard hit. They held him up and just kind of ripped at the ball. Now, obviously, there's been tapes, and they've seen selves had a penchant to fumble, and I'm sure the, the opposing teams are going to go for the ball more than they ordinarily would. Good point there, Greg. And like you said, you've seen them over the last uh, eight weeks. Ben That's Chester's your quarterback. He's number four. Ben Folker's the big uh, back for uh, Southwest. Folker came into the into the game today, second in the conference with 626 yards, and he has been completely shut down as again you just see like it, it's just an example of the first half no yard gain for him well as a matter of fact uh, official statistician for south mr shrank said that that halftime the leading rusher was uh Liebergen or Liebergen number 11 for 21 yards so yeah i got folker for i got him for uh four yards okay <laughs> That's what I got him for, well, he's but a junior, I'm not. So he's going to remember South next year, that's for sure. Let's put some pressure on. Chester's rolling out. He's going to try to go the whole thing again here. We've seen this before, but once again, he overshoots his target. And, uh, you know, he is just not completing many passes. And it's the same pass. They have some originality, Greg. I don't think they have an integral passing attack. The only thing different on that one is Adam Math wasn't doing the coverage. It was Jamal Johnson, and he was like a blanket on that one. Yeah, he's just one for nine tonight, Chester, that is, Greg. But you know what I notice is number 99, uh, Drew Vanderlin. He's a big kid. He plays tight end for him. You know, you, maybe instead of going for the home, home run, maybe just throw it out to him in the flat a little bit just because of his size. He's kind of like Andy Lancer, a big target. And uh, maybe to pick on some of the smaller uh, backs for uh, South. But Chester doesn't think that way. And uh, as a result... He's had some time to pass, too, Coach. I know we don't blitz a lot at South. So he's had some time, but... Here they come now, and there's a hold in the line, but they don't call oh. it off the hands of uh, Ben Hendricks. Steve Bockney on a delayed blitz that time was coming, but uh, Southwest did a nice job of picking it up. But that went off uh, Ben Hendricks' uh, hand, and again, Southwest is stifled on another incomplete pass. Ben, or Haji, as his teammates call him, has done just an excellent job tonight, both in stuffing and running, I mean stuffing, and there you can see him drop back 10 yards and just be in position to even pick it. So what? the defense has been all over. There's no question about it. Well, now the wind decides to pick up. I got papers. Now yeah, I was going to say, I don't know if it's on the field, but your papers are blowing <laughs> anyhow. There's the punt, and this time Johnson should just let it, and he does. And he does. Oops. Give uh, 
grab some tape here to put some of the stuff down here. Good job again by the uh, South defense. What'd you say they gave up in the first half? Uh, 35? Two yards passing and 33 rushing, so 35 yards total. And I don't think they moved it more than a couple in that sequence, so. Uh, we'll give them two. The wind has picked up, Coach, if you look at the flag down the end zone. Yeah, that's it, why it would be here. the direction that Southwest is moving towards, but it's kind of a crosswind at that, and as I speak, it kind of slows down, so. <laughs> but you're right, there, there's a wind now that, that wasn't before, and that's why our papers, we said before, there wasn't a wind if you were with us in the first half. South's gonna take over at about the 23 yard line, second possession for them here in the uh, second half. 8.05 and the clock, 14 to six, Red Wings. Wilson, number 19, he's the one in motion. He's caught two balls tonight. They're gonna go right back to number 38, Ray Smith, I like that. He fumbled last time, but go right back to him. That does show some confidence because I know he's had a little bit of fumbleitis this year and by Coach Pfeiffer saying, come on, get back in the rain, do your job, that, that gives him some confidence. And you know he has the ability. Call it an eight yard pickup for Smith and he gets closer and closer to that century mark. We're gonna call it uh, 84 yards in a ball game for Smith tonight. Second down and two. Where's, where's, where's Ray in the conference coach in rushing? Fourth, I believe he okay. is. Again, just a sophomore. Yep. yep, fourth in the league and the four juniors up front. Junior wide receivers, junior tight end, junior quarterback. Oh. Get rid of it, Taylor, hang on. We're gonna call that a humongous sack for Southwest all the way back to the 23. Nobody seems to bite on a play fake, so it makes it a third and 11. You know, if they're coming like that, we have two different screen passes we started to incorporate. We have one the outside and one over the middle. Maybe it's time. Big loss there. No, we're gonna play it safe. Taylor, come on, Taylor, cut up. Well, well, he does a little bit and gets across the 25, but uh, unfortunately for uh, South, they didn't get enough for the first down. They're gonna, with 6.27 left, they're gonna have to punt it back to Southwest. And again, Southwest should have pretty good field position uh, pending the punt. The whole game has been, we, we look like we can do something, we make a couple of first downs, and all of a sudden we lose big yardage and we can't come back. And it's gonna be handled cleanly. And Folkler gets it again, the guy you don't want it to, but uh, South is right there. But unfortunately, Southwest is in South territory once again today. Fumble, Coach, South coaching staff is jumping up and down. Uh-oh. I see a flag. We see Southwest coach yelling. I see no signal of any kind, Coach. I seen the offense for South going back in the field. You tell me what's happening. Well, I think there must have been something way on the bottom. Their ball must have popped loose. South got it. Somebody from Southwest did not agree with the officials, decided to have a discussion. We have that one in the replay. Here we yep. go. Let's see what happens here. You can't see the yep, ball. Yeah, there's the out. ball. You saw it? Okay. Who's there? There it is and picked up there by number 23. 20. Yeah, Kyle Wright. Uh, Kyle Reuter. Yep. Junior. Free safety. That, that exchanges that last time. Now let's score one here. And a big unsportsmanlike penalty on Southwest gives South the ball at the 35. And if you watch the replay real close, you would have seen uh, uh, Folker fumble the ball. And uh, good player, good call by the officials. Not such a good call there by the uh, Southwest. And just like that, oh, that's a little bit late, but Schwartz overshoots Billman there, but I think we're gonna get a hold in the interior one way or the other. Again, inconsistency. Let's not give the ball back. We've had the pensions to do that this year as well. I know we've had Billman in the slot several times this year for some nice gains. They're talking to the uh, Southwest uh, defensive front there, which normally means it's against South, and it is. I think it's all a hold. Yeah, I agree. That's a tough place because if we get a first down there, we're in the four down zone. Wow. Now we may not be again. Yeah, that's a... Uh, that's a biggie. That's Look at that one. Spot foul, so penalty on south. First and 25. 
pitch out. Yep, Smith trying to get some ground there, but not much for him to go that time. Maybe a yard for Smith. Caught a one yard run, two yard run, make it the 47. Again, yard just tough to come by. Second down, 17. No, we'll make it 23. 23, 23 yard long, 23 yards to go. Now it's a bad, bad hold before 14 yard. Spot. Look out behind you. Set up. He hit his arm. He got it. Had a boy. Yeah, and Andy, Lancer. Yeah, Lancer on the receiving end of the Sch Schwartz's pass, and maybe you heard him or saw him or something. Quick, get rid of it. As Taylor completes his fifth pass of the night. So now it's doable at third and 11. Third straight pass. There you see the replay and the throw across the middle to the 36 yard line. You get Andy one on one in a defensive back coach and you don't want to tackle him. Let's put it that way if you're a little defensive back. What do you think we got two downs to get 11 here? Yep, I think that's a good idea. Blitz by Gets Southwest. Gets a key block from Ray. Well, we got half of the distance there. Yep, and Billman on the receiving end again of a Schwartz pass. First time that Jake's caught a ball tonight. We seem to be rolling left and passing that way a lot. So that gets us, as we said, I think we got two downs to get 11. Now we got one to get about five, a long five. Taylor now six for 10, 56 yards passing. And on fourth down, you're right. Timeout south, we wanna talk about it. Well, with that break, we're gonna take a break here. As you see the wheels working for Coach Pfeiffer, it's 14 to six. Your South High Red Wings. You make a crutch that was never needed by a child who never got polio because vaccine was never in short supply thanks to people whose compassion wasn't either. Over the years, Rotary Club members have helped immunize over 2 billion children against polio. Soon, the world will be polio free. Rotary, humanity in motion. We're back at South High. There's Coach Pfeiffer talking to the troops. 14 to 6, 407 left. Chris right along with Greg Schwartz tonight, who's filling in for uh, Mike Martin. And you did say Marty was doing some singing, right? I did say that. He's over at a concert at St. Dominic's School today. Well, he's not a soprano. What do you think he is? I don't know uh, singing very well. <laughs> if I had social studies and <laughs> and uh, anything like that, if, if, it, if it can throw it or I can hit it or something like that or catch it, but I don't know anything about throwing tunes. Big fourth down here for South. Fourth and about five. Schwartz is going to roll out. He's got Wilson out here, and he's got... Duquette there, and that could be a first down, and it should be. As Schwartz is now throwing three consecutive passes, and that penalty doesn't hurt them. Is South now on the 20-yard line. Here you'll see the replay, Greg. From this, it looked like he waited a split second long, but it, it, as it turned out, he was there. He wanted to make sure he was open, and it worked out well. So moving the ball a little bit on passing, this is a big series for us. We are in a four-down zone now. Hand off to Smith, right up the middle, right behind uh, Tyler Court right there. And he bangs down to about the 17 in a very big drive after that earlier holding penalty cost South. They come right back and they're marching right down inside the 20, we're inside the red zone down with 327 left. So it seems to be developing a little bit of continuity which they didn't have in the first half. You know, and this is the first time that South's been in the red zone all day. Uh, Greg, okay. and it's three minutes left because we had the uh, big run and the okay, pickoff play. That's right. Oh, this Ooh. time Smith is boggled up right at the line of scrimmage. Maybe we're going to call loss of a yard there. They've certainly seemed to be king on Ray in this game. They've, he's had a lot of. Zero, one, or, or a minus one 
Yeah, please. Well, well, you're right. He had that big 58-yard uh, run, but he's only got 87 total yards on the ground. And this will set up a third down and long situation. Call it nine. I wouldn't be surprised if he sprint left on a pass. You got Wilson in motion that way. No, he's going straight back. Gets a block. No flags. Throws. He's out there. He's got it. I think it, you're right. And uh, Taylor Schwartz rolled out and does hit Duquette. That We're going to call Zach. it on the two. And a 16-yard pickup. We have a flag, or what's the deal? They say he was out of bounds, incomplete. Ouch. Regardless, they're gonna call it incomplete. That, I missed that one. I don't know what happened. I'd like to see that one on the replay again. Yeah, we have a tough view from up here. No argument, so I guess. Yeah, I don't know what I missed there. That's too bad, because that. I think his feet were out of bounds. Got uh, Mark Mansell up here. He used to work with me at baseball. Thought I'd need some help, so he came in. They're blitzing, coach. And they throw it over the middle, and it's going to be incomplete. They were coming hard. That's too bad. We had a good drive going. Yeah. Duquette must have been out of bounds before, and so with that, on the fourth down, he tried to get something across the middle, Taylor did, and fell incomplete. Well, they've been doing a lot of that this year, and I know that's youth, but... Uh... You put a drive together, and all of a sudden it just stops automatically. It looked like we were down at about the three-yard line. Again, we didn't see his feet go out of bounds, but there was no argument. Well, this is Southwest just fifth offensive play here in the third quarter, and this Hang on, like hang on. Oh, boy. There's nobody behind him, coach. That's, that's a new back, too. No, I think it was Jamal hanging on, and if he kind of lost him eventually, but there was nobody behind the secondary back who put him down. Yeah, Nate Wolchek, the ball carrier there. It's his first ball trip with the ball today, but uh, he gains five and a big gain for them. But saying that, uh, Greg, just the sixth play of the uh, entire quarter for Southwest is they fumbled that ball on the punt. So the it's been all South offense, but uh-oh, the option's not right this time, and it's going to be a big gainer for Chester. As he's going to be across the 40. We'll call it the 41-yard line. Yeah, that one hurt. Let's, let's regroup now. Here That's you see it on replay, Greg. is Definitely their best sequence. He, they're looking option. He hung on. Hendricks making the tackle after a gain of about 12, 15. Yeah, big gainer there. That's for sure. We don't want to get him in the four down territory here. But about a minute 18 left in the third quarter. Up the middle. Not much there for Southwest as they do try to Work it up the middle. You again. pronounced that senior running back, Wilzik, I guess it is? Yep, Wilzik, Nate Wilzik, number 49. He carried the ball before. Called a three yard gain for him. Gives him eight yards in the game. They seem to be coming out of the huddle a little bit quicker here. It's just to make my job tougher. <laughs> Second and seven. Chester, up quick the handoff. There's Folker with one of his bigger gains today. Make it third and about two. They're going to have to punt if we can hold them here. It's a big play. Five yard gain for him. That gives him nine on the ball game. Le second leading back in the league. Here you see Coach Pfeiffer instructing the offense. We've got to move the ball consistently. Here comes the Southwest. Big play. There's a give straight ahead, and he's got the first down by about a yard, I think. What do you think, Coach? I think he's got the first down, too. And uh, with that, it'll probably be the last play of the quarter. There's 12 seconds left. By the time they reset it, it'll be first down going the other way. Well, they're going to get a playoff, I guess. Yeah, they're hustling up to the line. That Six, wind, maybe the five. wind is more of a factor than we think, although they're not going to pass. No, and uh-oh, he does oh. break through. A big gainer. Jamal Johnson's the only one that's going to catch him. Welchek's the only guy going to score the touchdown. Johnson was there, but on the last play, Nate White, Welchek, I guess you could pronounce it, goes 48 yards for the score. He was basically stood up, but not finished. 
No, and we saw that earlier on like first down, the first time he carried it, I noticed he bounced off somebody and luckily somebody held on, but this time he broke right through the middle. Two missed tackles and nobody's there. Yep. For their really only offensive play of the game. And we could be, they're gonna go for two here, coach? Yeah, I would think that there's no choice. There's no time left on the clock. Uh, it's 14 to 12, Sheboygan South. Now we're gonna be looking over their offense. We may call a timeout if we see them set up a certain way here. Coach Hine looking to see what they're doing. High backfield. He's gonna do his option, roll out right. He's got room. He's gonna cut up and make it. Wow. Chester does cut it up field and gets the two point conversion. And as the third quarter ends, we're all knotted up 14 to 14. They'll be switching sides. No pressure on him on that option play. There you see the replay. He rolls right and gets no defensive pressure on the inside. And basically South looked like they wanted to stop the pass and when you only have to move a couple of yards, the run was easy. Today I want to talk to you about a very important subject, and cruelty to animals. Emmy was a victim of cruelty and someone did something about it. Someone called the ASPCA and put an end to it, but Emmy can't talk. The fact is, animals are abused all over this country and people sit by and do nothing. It's not slick, or fly, or cool, or none of that. It's just cruel. If you're aware of any animal abuse, go to ASPCA.org to find out what you can do. Now, make a difference. She can't do it for herself. Here we go. Welcome back to fourth quarter action. We're all knotted up at 14. An 81 yard drive to cap the uh, the uh, 48 yard touchdown yeah, run by Wilzik. Yeah, in the last couple minutes here. And just like that, um, we have a tie game. South appears we'll have the wind. Brent Halverson. Yep, Halverson with the ball up across the 20. And not maybe, much more. No, maybe the 22. And now Taylor Schwartz goes out. Instead of an eight-point lead, his team is even. 83 total yards, just 10 plays for Southwestern at half. And unfortunately, half that was dominated, or excuse me, a quarter that was dominated by South. Uh, turns out that uh, the game is all even on a long run. So basically, we've had duplicating situations on both sides and we, we will recap that in a minute. Man in motion, Wilson. Yeah, Wilson in motion. Schwartz stretch going Stretch. along the side of the field. Smith trying to get outside, cuts it back in, but a much better job. Andy Bost there for Southwest of shutting that down and basically call that a no gainer, or maybe even a loss for Smith. Well, we need a first down coach because I definitely feel momentum shift here. And I think that's a real important thing here. Get established. You, you drove it all the way down the field and you did so well, but you just haven't scored a couple times. And a lot of red in the third quarter, a number of plays run by South, but unfortunately, the only thing that counted was the score by Southwest. Here you see Schwartz rolling out. He's got Lancer again. They haven't found him and a big gainer. Kind of a naked, a face fake into the middle, rolls to his right. Big Andy's a good target out there. Yeah, and uh, you'd think Southwest would do something to find him because that's basically all he's been running is that little out play. And is that three or four receptions for Andy he's tonight? He's got, uh, I got him for one, two, three. I got him for three, three balls tonight. Okay. Call it the 36 yard line, pass play of 12 yards there. First down for South. Quick out to Wilson here, playing off of him. Good decision, good call by Coach Pfeiffer, and that'll gain some yards. He was down. Good call. Trying by to reach forward and spot the ball. He did fumble, but he was down. Pick up a five. You know, Coach, Nick Wilson leads the conference in receiving, and quite a few balls are on that short one. Yeah. And I keep waiting for him to go over the middle because he's about 6'4", and most of your D-backs over the middle aren't going to be 
a little bit undersized when they try and cover that, you know? Taylor's now eight for 15. For 84 yards, that's Wilson's third catch tonight. 40 yard line, second down and five. Fake the Nava, oh, big blitz there and uh, Tyler Corright just got overrun there by the Southwest line. He did everything he could to try to stop Andy Anderke, but it wasn't to be had. I mean, Tyler did everything he could and not much you can do about that situation. I think that's the second for sure, maybe third sack on a play fake, so the defense just isn't buying that. Big loss there. That one hurts, it isn't just a loss of, of a couple, that's a major loss. Call it the 31 yard line, third and 14. Quarterback draw. Yep, draw for Schwartz. He's got some over, he's across the first down, he's across midfield. We'll call it the 47 yard line, a great run by Taylor Schwartz. Call it about 21 yards for Schwartz. Schwartz and he gets all that back after the sack. Big play there for Taylor. I don't know, Schwartz. Coach. Here's the replay. I don't know if it was a draw or he just, yeah, it's a quarterback draw. Yep, straight draw into uh, territory for South. Outstanding run. A couple more first downs is what's needed as we got nine minutes and 12 seconds into the, in the ball game. Wilson in motion. Go back now, this is Nava. We haven't seen him much since the first quarter. He runs hard over the 45 yard line. You know, we've been, every, every drive so far, Coach, we seem to have one play that stops us. If we can avoid that, we're moving the ball okay. Yeah, I, I agree with you there, Greg. It's been those penalties and turnovers. And then one loss of something substantial. It doesn't seem like if the game is tied, it seems like we should be in the lead yet. Yep. No question about it. 45 yard line for South in Southwest territory. Big drive for South. Nava again, he should have the first down and again, hard running for. Now if we can avoid a turnover or a holding penalty. Yeah. We're Chris, starting to move the ball again. Chris Nava again with a huge hole. Call the ball at the 36 yard line. First down, a pickup of eight for Nava again. Nice blocking by Eric Grunig up front. I always tell Taylor when he's quarterback and talk to your offensive lineman and, and tell him good things. Buy him, they buy him very pizzas. seldom get any compliments. Get you know? your dad to open his wallet and give you money and buy pizzas. <laughs> for your lineman. <laughs> you pizza see the size of those there. guys, coach? How many pizzas would that take? Well, you're working. <laughs> <laughs> Schwartz again on the stretch play. Nava, same place. Keep like, working, why not go right at that place? Looks like we might have been able to cut outside a little bit more than we did. You know, and they're following uh, Courtright and senior John Lindsay, and why not? Go, go to your horses. Lindsay out there pulling over there. It's a uh, second and I think we'd say six or a long five, but we are in a four down zone. This is a big drive, this could this could make a difference. This could be the ball game, actually. I hate to say that, 746, but we need to finish this drive up. 26 yards now for Chris Nava. Quick count. Up the middle, though, this time. Not much there. No, maybe across the 30. Well, they're going to spot him at the 30. It's going to set up a third down and about two, or excuse me, four. Long three? Yeah. Four, yeah. We got two downs to do it, but interesting call right here. I might look for Lancer again, coach. Or that quick pass to Wilson in the flat uh, in the quick out pattern. Although he's got two receivers to the right. That's usually not the pattern where they do that. Wilson in motion. And a run this way to the short side of the field. Oh. It closed in a hurry. I thought we were going to have some yardage. Short side of the field over here. Not a lot of area to run, but I thought Nava got everything he could. Lindsay out here again. Uh, Brunig out here again. I think we're going to set up a fourth down and about one. Fourth and one with six and a half minutes left. Biggest play of the game, coach. 
see what they decide to do here. See if they go the other way. Go to the long side of the field. Wilson in motion again. Nope, same, same play, play, same stretch. Cut up, cut up. Did he get it, coach? Going to be close? I think he's going to get it. And you know what the key, you know, we haven't called Jake Billman's number much tonight, but he had the key kick out block right there, number 26. I don't know if we're going to see the replay, but he right there kicked out the end over there. And because of that, Nava could get into the hole and get that first down. You know, as you said, you call him the best fullback in the conference, and it's not just because he carries the ball well, but he does everything. He receives well, good block there. That's probably his strongest suit, as a matter of fact. He is a he is a dandy. He will be missed as a senior graduating. You got that right, and I like him carrying the ball too. I'm surprised they haven't gone to him much. Now they go the other way. Schwartz rolling out, Duquette's out there. He falls, but he catches the ball. We'll call it the 18 yard line and a pickup of six. Turned out better than it looked because he was slipping as the pass was coming. Nice hands by Zach Duquette. Yeah, Duquette with his second catch of the night. He had one earlier, but his feet were out of bounds. That was the one we weren't sure about. But a big uh, five yard pickup, second down and five. Here's where the offensive line has to take over. Wilson in motion again to the left. Here We've been comes. doing that right in the stretch, and he yeah. was met, but he got past him. Yeah, and again, guess who got the block? Number 26, Jake Billman with, with the key block. Without that, there's a five-yard loss, coach. You got that right, and again, just because of that extra effort, Jake Billman in the block, and you know, young players, we don't see it there, but young players, little things win football games, and that's what Jake Billman did as the ball now moves to the 11-yard line. You know, they only have two seniors on offense, but how valuable is Jake Billman and, and John Lindsay, the other senior? I mean, when you talk about a key block, it's always one of those two. First so. down on the 11. Chris Nava up to 40 yards now in the ball game, and he's been the central back in this drive. Fake handoff, Schwartz. He's got the roll off. He's got oh. Lancer, but he just missed him. Set up a second down and 10 from the 11. They can get a first down, Greg, at about the one. Yardage gets tough down here. Yeah. You pass on first down, now you're kind of in a hole. Now you're kind of obligated to do something and, wide open. Right, and the, and the backs, and their, excuse me, the defensive backs are closer, the linebackers are closer, you're backed up against the wall, so things become a little tougher. We'll see how uh, Schwartz and the defense handles that. We don't have a field goal all year, so I don't even know if that's in the option or not. Here they're gonna go to that side again, kick out blocked by Billman, but behind this time, I think number 80, Matt Jensen got Chris Nava, and that'll be a loss this time. We've been working a short side of the field this half. And I don't know if they're setting it up for something or not, but that puts us in a tough situation here. Yeah, we got third down at the 16 yard line. That was a big loss. We'll call a four yard loss. The clock is stopped at 449 in the fourth quarter. Yep. Let's see if they look for Lancer. Oh, there's a mix up on the play and a fumble. Chris Nava ran into the Schw uh, Taylor Schwartz, the quarterback, and on that was a fumble. Something was not done right there. Again, we shoot ourselves in the foot. I think it was supposed to be a pass. The back ran over the quarterback. The ball is loose. Here goes a long drive for naught. Yeah, and again, they've had the ball the entire fourth quarter. Over seven minutes, and they come out of there with nothing. The third turnover by South, and now Southwest tries to get something started with their guy, Ben, ben, or ben Volker, and he gets absolutely nothing. John Bruder just he, leveled him. Yeah, I was just going to say, big John Bruder, number 97, just put him down. You know, we don't call a lot of times the defensive linemen, but you got Mike Brookins, you got Lucas Panic, you got John Bruder. They do a heck of a job up front in that interior defensive line. 
I keep saying the same thing in, but this guy here, Fulker, he's got 12 yards and he minus those yards again, as there he was again, 34, Ben Hendricks. We stretched it out. Unbelievable. I think Kyle Reuter in on that as well as his free safety comes up. Big play here, coach. They got a punt deep in their territory. Let's hold them here. Call the ball on the 17-yard line. Minus two yards for Fulker. Give him 10 for the game. <laughs> oh, my. It's just unbelievable. I want to guess 15 carries, right? Oh, he's got at least that many. I'm not quite sure. Chester, not very good at passing. They keep the ball on the ground. And minimal. Yeah, they're not going to get anything. 324 left. South with two timeouts. Southwest with three. And uh, Southwest, excuse me, South has just got to play smart here. The clock stopped. Or no, it's not stopped. It's 312. Call let's, it a gain of one. Let's remind you the importance for both teams. Southwest has to just win one to be in the playoffs. And they're a man to walk next week. And South has to win this game and at Green Bay East next week. So a big game for both. Jamal Johnson's got short punt, good field position for South. They're going to be inside the 50. They're going to be inside the 45. And it looks like the uh, official on that side is going to give South the ball at about the 43-yard line. Going in for running back is Chris Nava, not Ray Smith again, so. Just 14 plays from scrimmage I have. Well, actually, well, one of them is a punt. Two of them are punts, so just 12 plays for Southwest in the whole second half. South offense is 245 to march down and keep their playoff hopes alive as they're going to hit Wilson on the outside. He's got one guy to beat, and, oh, they just can't get out there as Andy Bost hog ties him. You know, you see that play, and you think almost, you know? Yeah. There's a player down for Southwest right now. We're going to call that a pickup of maybe uh, three to four. Four yards for Taylor Schwartz. That's catch number four for Wilson, I think. Can you say overtime or not? I don't want to say overtime. I want to see him score right you here. You are kidding. And I'll go down and interview a winner and. Before we do run out of time, Greg, I want to thank you for uh, filling in for Marty. And I know you'd like to fill in baseball or football whenever you can. And I know it's a little more difficult with your your kids playing and stuff, but I, I do appreciate it. Well, I had a lot of fun, Chris, and you and I go back a long ways already. And I just hope I wasn't too biased, but I've had a lot of fun here. So <laughs> it's all right. Sometimes I find myself saying, you know, yes or yeah. That kind well, of thing. I, I do it too. I'm a, I'm a big time homer, and I, I love. Sheboygan Athletics and Sports, North or South Side. And uh, Taylor's now uh, unofficially, I have him 10 for 18 for 93 yards. He's, he's kind of spread it around a little bit. He's used all his receivers, uh, Lancer and Wilson and Duquette. Uh, looks like a cramp for this young man. Once again on our crew tonight, Andy McKillop, he's the guy down on the, on the, on the field tonight. Beth Schnelli is up on the top camera with now the wind's going a little bit, so she knows what it's what Andy goes through a lot of the time. Kerry Kautzer is spinning the dials, and as I said, Greg Schwartz next to me, and I'm Chris Wright. We have a second down on about the 39. 228 left in the ball game. South and Southwest tied at 14. Wilson comes in motion to the left. We're going to spread. Now a stumble before he hit the hole. Yeah, he slipped. Again, he's been playing the bulk of the second half, Coach. I didn't receive anything on Ray Smith. I didn't well, see his number down there or not. I haven't. We haven't seen Smith in the entire quarter. Uh, Smith does have 86 yards rushing, and now we're going to get a timeout for South, which gives us one more left, as we're in a third and about what he got seven. About seven yards is about right. Um, Chris Nava's now up to 41 yards rushing. He's carried 
As I speak, I see that Ray Smith is in the huddle, so we'll see if that brings anything. I think we're in a passing situation, though, Coach. There's a look at our fans. Yeah. Let's make them happy here and keep our playoff hopes alive. Next you know, week, the Red Wings travel to Green Bay East. That'll be on Thursday night. They do that because of the playoffs. That will, will basically come out on uh, Friday or late Friday. They, they stay up all night, and then it comes over. Uh, what I like to go is to wisfootball.com to check out where those sites are, and you'll know where the things get set up and plan your trips for uh, playoffs, you know, for all the divisions, not just... Uh, well, we hope that South will represent our city again. They have a chance here if they can win out. Sheboygan North is playing Green Bay West tonight, trying to pick up their first win of the ball of the year, as well as West is. And um, Something's got to give. Yeah, and North has been playing up and down football. They're very capable of winning that football game. Minute 56 left on the clock. We have a third down and about seven. Straight drop back for Schwartz. He's got Wilson wide open. He's across the 30, 25, bangs his way down to the 20, 19. Out of bounds, hopefully out of bounds with a minute 49. I don't know if it's gonna be, out, uh, they waved it for the first down or they waved it because he was out of bounds. They're moving the chains. We're gonna call it the 20 yard line. 18 yard completion, here you'll see it. Schwartz to Wilson. They had two guys flooded right and he just passed it over that Number 26 on defense. And let's not make a mistake here. We're close to, dare I say, field goal range. Wilson in motion. Let's see if Wilson follows him there and Lindsey kicks out. It is Smith right up the middle. He smells the end zone. Oh, he reaches the wrong line to dive over. He dived over the five. He's out of the two. Minute 43, the clock stops for a change of the uh, clock. He made several cuts, and I, I don't know. Let's see it here. He was losing his foot, and I think he just said, I'm losing my footage. Let me just dive and get the extra couple. Yeah. Excellent run, anyhow. Yeah, we'll call it the three-yard line. That puts Smith at 103 yards for the ball game. Down to a minute 30 left. Minute 21. Chris Nava's running down the sidelines for something here. Smith trying to get in there. Oh, and Southwest holds. Southwest better think about calling timeout. And be careful when they hold him up and go for the football. We've seen that before. What do we get down to about the one foot line? Or the one yard line? Yeah, we're gonna call it a two yard pickup for Ray Smith. Southwest calls timeout. Good shot there by Andy McKillop. There's the tail of the tape. 14-14, 1-10 left. Two timeouts for Southwest. A good decision by Southwest to give themselves an opportunity to, uh, to possibly uh, get some type of score if South does score themselves. Smith now at 105 yards. What he wants is 106. How do I not sound nervous, coach? <laughs> Well, <laughs> maybe I better not say anything. Some color man has just become mute with a minute left. You know, it's, I say this every year, you work awfully hard in the weight room, you work all year long, and you play nine games. Only nine, and you're judged on nine, and you work so hard for nine, and uh, when it comes down to, you know, one minute, and, you, you know, your season is, is yes. on the brink of, can we make the playoffs or not, uh, you know, it, it just magnifies. It's almost too bad. You work so hard, and... Like I said, just nine ball games to be judged by. We'll see how uh, South responds here. They've really done well going to the left. Let's see if they do that. We've been going short side a lot, right in the middle of the field right now. I think they're gonna come this way. Wilson's trying to stretch it out. He comes this way and he can't get in. And Southwest again calls timeout. My question is, Coach, if we don't make it on third down, I don't want to think ahead, but it's almost like an extra point here, right? Yeah, now. This is Southwest timeout, so they're down to, one. is it our timeout? We're down to one. I don't know who called it. I thought they did. Yeah, I thought they wanted to, but we decided to call it, which, okay. you know, it, I don't know if that, you should have let Southwest do it, but uh, we're down to the one. Smith carried the ball with nothing there. We ended up taking the timeout, I think. They call it, but we took it. It didn't get called. 
Mutual the timeouts and they gave it to South. <laughs> Two very evenly matched games. Uh, we had a block punt that Southwest got an easy touchdown. Then Ray Smith with a big gainer, a 58 yard touchdown. And then Southwest countered with a, uh, or South and got a long interception, but then Southwest had a long run. So it's been pretty even. Yards have not been the same, but uh, the scoreboard's the same up until what the situation is right here. Maybe change it and go quarterback sneak. Option, Smith. He He's in. There it is. You're right. It was the option. We read it correctly. Untouched, I think, Coach. Yeah, and 106 yards. The sixth yard, the biggest for Sheboygan South as Ray Smith scores his second touchdown of, of the game. There you see the kick out and the score. And Ray Smith is in for the score. And now Alex Leisner with a chance to tack on the extra point and gives South a seven point lead. What a what a incredible job there. No mistakes on that drive. That was the difference, I guess. Big extra point, coach. And she's been booing him and she booms another one, Alex No Eisner. question about that, that a girl, Alex. Yeah, she, she wailed on it there. Well, with just one minute exactly left, we have a score of 21 to 14, Sheboygan South over Green Bay Southwest. Chargeable batteries let us go anywhere and do anything. But the freedom to go unplugged comes with responsibility. Look at that. Wow. The responsibility to recycle. If you've got old rechargeable batteries hanging around, take them in to be recycled. It's easy and it's good for the environment. Check us out online or give us a call at 1-800-8-BATTERY to learn more. Welcome back to South where with a minute left in the fourth quarter. South has regained the lead 21 to 14 to keep their playoff hopes alive. Anthony Hoytank of course does not probably want to kick it to Ben Folker here. We'll see if he has some type of squib here. Coach Renzelman had a big huddle with him. It's a tough ball to handle. Sometimes that's a problem for the defense. Not this time. Oh, number 34, Ben Hendricks, who's been all over the field on defense, makes the stop there. As you're right, it was mishandled there by uh, Nate Wells checked. He's the guy that scored before. And with 55 seconds left, and just the second time in the uh, fourth quarter, Southwest has got the ball. Let's see if we're gonna prevent now and get somebody deep. Kyle Reuter is the free safety. Defensive backs pointing to the receivers. We need a pass rush. Well, Ben Chester's just been awful throwing the ball tonight. He's about one for 10. And he just overthrows his intended receiver here. Bobby Dean on the left. Actually, that was a good looking pass. Just a couple yards overthrown, but that would have been a pickup of 30 yards. Too many. Yes. Took up about seven seconds. We could pass rush would be nice here. Unofficially, I have Southwest one for 11 tonight. Two yards passing. South passing yards, it doesn't include sacks. 48 seconds now on the clock, second down and 10. Southwest has two timeouts. Will he take one? We took one. Sheboygan South with a timeout, Coach. Coach Hine wants to spot some or did spot something. Well, you got one timeout left. You know, you don't have to get it all at once. You can move the ball down the field, which, you know, because the clock stops with, uh, you know, every time you get a first down, but they've just struggled throwing the ball, so I don't know how easy it's going to be for Southwest. Yeah, they, we talked about this just by their statistics going in. They hadn't shown any passing offense. That last play looked better than most, although, again, incomplete. Uh, and it's nothing, however, that a pass rush couldn't cure no matter what. We don't blitz very often at South. Coach nope. Hine believes in just his, his, his reads and his coverages. And why not the defenses he's put out there? Yeah, and, and they don't blitz a lot, but when they do, they're so effective and so good at it. And uh, let's just see if uh, he starts to unleash somebody. I'd watch number, <laughs> watch 34 if he's going to fly in here. Watch 99 too, Drew Vanderlyn. He's got Chester. plenty of time. Now he, nobody's open. They're going to fill. That's going to take a lot of time. 
clock should keep, keep rolling. Keep him in bounds, keep him in bounds. I think he did. Oh, the official says no. Good job there by South and a great one-on-one -on -one play there by Anthony Hoytank on Chester. You know, Anthony, he calls the plays on defense and he's done a great job all year again, just their junior. It's him and uh, Ben Hendricks that make a lot of the tackles for South as they're expected to do and they do. There's a big play, third and seven. Of course, they're gonna go all four downs. They've, had a, they've shown a good offensive line coach on pass blocking. Here comes Valdez from the blind side, gets it off. And again, another, well short. Yeah, another incompletion. Chester rolled left, tough to make that play, and Chester didn't look very comfortable in there. If you don't have a passing game, the last thing you can do is roll left and throw on a right-handed quarterback. Bingo. Good point. Make this it. is the last, hopefully the last play here for Southwest if we hold them here. Yeah. They still have one timeout left. Obviously, it would be in a prevent defense. John Veldez started to put pressure on him from the blind side on that one. Short side field over this way. Well, Southwest needs their best seven-yard pickup play. Almost a motion there. Chester does have time to pass. He's going to go for the home run ball, and he's behind Jamal Johnson. Incomplete, and that should be your ball game, ladies and gentlemen, as the defense stops them again on another incompletion. Southwest is going to end up one for 13 passing tonight. They kept the second leading rusher in the league to, uh, I, I just can't believe the statistic I'm going to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, 11 yards. Uh, great job by Coach Hine and his defense. The offense, I thought, Greg played outstanding. He just couldn't put it in into the end zone, which has been one of the stories all year. Maybe that last try will give him confidence and carry him the rest of the way. Unofficially tonight, I have 135 total yards for Southwest. Well, Greg, thanks so much for joining us tonight. And uh, big victory and good luck to, to your son and the rest of the Red Wings next week. <laughs> I really appreciate it, Chris. I had a blast up here. Again, I hope I wasn't too biased, but I had lots of fun. <laughs> Thanks a lot, pal. Yeah, take care, Greg. And they're counting it down. There's, there's three, two, one. And there's your victory for Sheboygan South. We'll go to three and three in conference and a chance to get to the playoffs with a victory at Green Bay East next week. In a minute, I'll have a couple of Red Wings with you, and we'll close up this show tonight with a big victory. Sterling Marley. There's nothing better than great fans who cheer me on in a 40 car. While watching the race, many of our fans like to enjoy a cold beer. And that's okay if you're 21, but if you choose to drink, please do so responsibly. Avoid drinking to excess and never drive drunk. Traffic deaths involving alcohol have fought on dramatically in the last 20 years. So let's all do a part by drinking responsibly. This message is brought to you by the National Beer Wholesalers Association and this station. Life's so good. Call 1-800-432-TRIP or visit TravelWisconsin.com. Welcome back to South High, 21-14. South keeps their playoff hope, hopes alive with the victory over Green Bay Southwest, who also needs a win to make the playoffs. On offense tonight, Ray Smith got over 100 yards, 106 yards. I had him unofficially. Two touchdowns, including the 106, which was the biggest uh, of the ball game. Uh, Taylor Schwartz also threw for over 100 yards. Complete game for uh, Sheboygan South, both offensively and defensively. Defensively tonight, 135 total yards I had unofficially for the South High uh, Redmen or Red Wings. Excuse me. Total total, uh, total domination. Ben Hendricks, senior. Uh, right from the get-go, you guys were swarming. Yeah. 
we that's what we practice all week. We just swarm the ball, work on tackling, and we just just swarm. <laughs> yeah, I you second leading back in the in the uh, league tonight. I had him unofficially for about 12, 13 yards. He he got nowhere tonight. I thought you guys stretched it out, and again, good team defense. Yeah, we we keyed on him. We knew he was going to be a good back, but we took care of him, obviously. Yeah. Oh, and then let's add a little insult to the injury here. Quarterback just one for 13 tonight, too. Yeah. So if it wasn't your run defense, it was the uh, pass defense that really stepped up, too. Yeah, I think we got some of the best D-backs in the conference, but that, like we, like I said earlier, we just work on work on the stuff we need we need to get done in the game. Well, I, you've been a big hitter for the last couple of years, and even on that last kickoff return, you weren't going to allow that guy to score. You came flying in from there. If the other 10 guys were going to miss him, you were going to find him. Yeah, I, I knew that I was a senior out there, and I needed to make the big play at the end, and that's what they need me for. Yeah, I think a good point was I heard a little bit of the of Coach Hine and Coach Pfeiffer saying, you know, your seniors got to talk to the juniors and get things ready for next week. Yeah, well, the juniors are obviously getting more experience now, and uh, the seniors are, are going to be ready to play next week fighting for our life well congratulations and good luck at green bay east you got to get that one big john congratulations on just two outstanding years and i know i said at the beginning of the year you've really taken these juniors and really showed them the way and you know i kind of call you the anchor of the union you've been that way and uh you know but uh don't cut yourself anything short here john you've had an outstanding career <clears throat> thank you uh, uh mr pfeiffer has been a great coach and he's a mentor to me and uh the junior guys are really coming along now. They're, they're going to be very talented group next year, and I just I try to do everything I can to help them out and practice so they can be just as good next year. Good versatility tonight, too. You had passing, running. Uh, both things were very successful tonight. Good balance on offense. Yeah, it was well balanced, well called by a coach, and uh, we got the job done on a lot of the plays. We were obviously we, we, did, we had mistakes, but we got the job done when we needed to do it, so that's all we can hope for. I heard uh, overheard Coach Hines say something, or Coach Pfeiffer, I don't remember which, but uh, I echo those thoughts exactly. The fourth quarter, the confidence your offense must have, driving it down there and scoring, you know, that's the kind of stuff that can lead you, you know, right into Green Bay on Thursday. Yeah, that last drive, we lived in that last drive because the seniors, me and Jake Bellman, knew that it was our last time ever playing on this field. So we had, to, we had to bring all the other guys around us and pump them up. It was our last chance, so we had to live in the moment. So. And, I, and I think you made some real good points there, too. You guys constantly went you know you had some kickouts Jake Billman didn't carry the ball much tonight either but my gosh that last quarter you guys just constantly were hitting extra people or knocking those extra blocks just every single yard was was added because of the effort you guys gave yeah in practice we work on hustling and just we want to out we're not the biggest we're not the strongest we're not the fastest team but we want to outwork everyone even in the off season and in practice so we just try to do that in practice work hard and then it pays off in games like this well, I know you guys are undefeated at home. You struggled on the road, but you know what? It only takes one or two, and that's going to start on Thursday and hopefully in the playoffs, and hopefully that's what you're going to bring this week. Yeah, I know. We got we play for another day. We live live for another day, so we got to get practice tomorrow, got to come on it, and then we just got to practice hard all week and go up to Green Bay and show them what we got. Well, congratulations both of you gentlemen. You've just been outstanding performers here at Sheboygan South, and best of luck on Thursday, and I, I hope to gosh we have a game for you guys a week from Tuesday as well. Well, this is Chris Wright signing off tonight. Again, I want to thank the crew for everything and, and all the hard work they've done on a very pleasant and very joyous day here at Sheboygan South. It was the Red Wings scoring in the last minute of the ball game, 21-14. We'll see you down the road.